Now in this case, I know that if I multiply this by z on the bottom, then what will I get for a new denominator? I'll have z squared, then I'll match the denominator as I have it over here. But if I multiply this, then I have to multiply the top. But I have to be careful. Wrap it in parentheses times z. Multiplying and distributing this in will be z squared minus z on the bottom. z times z is z squared. And then I have plus z plus 1 over uh, z squared. The answer will be the same common denominator. I don't add those. Just like with regular denominators, the common denominator sticks around in the final answer. And then I just add them together because I have a plus sign. So I have z squared minus z plus, because of the plus sign, z plus 1. z plus 1, and I'll extend my fraction bar. So what I'm going to get in my final, final answer is z squared plus the 1 from the end over z squared. That's it. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.